Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the NestJS Firebase. Today we are going to learn Firestore as a NestJS database. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, you have to install the NestJS CLI globally. After that, we have to create a new project that is Firestore NestJS. So let's try to create that one. Okay, so HTML or we can go with our project directory okay we have a nest project let's open with the terminal let's paste this enter which npm package you want to use i will go with the npm so it will create a basic structure with the project okay next step that is go to the directory and install the package that is firebase admin okay done let's move to the project directory and install the npm package that is firebase admin okay let's install this after this create a firebase service and create a service to handle the firestore operations okay so nest generate service so we have to create the firebase service.ts in the source firebase so let's see this command will help you to create that one okay so source firebase service okay this is done moving to the next let's open the code base also at the same time and just add the code over there then we have a source firebase service.es okay so let's create the services so this we have all the services create a record update a record delete a record okay so let's add this done next create a controller with the help of the nest generate controller firebase it will create the controller also let's create the controller in the firebase so let's see so here we have the firebase firebase controller okay so let's add the controller with the routes so this is that one okay up to delete now we have to do the linking we have to use the app module source app module.ts we have to add the firebase service into that okay we have to just use this one import firebase service we have a app module.ts so here you can see that firebase controller firebase service already added firebase controller firebase service and already imported right so we don't need to do anything so it's already there okay import and this, this is already there right so let's do the npm start and let's check the service file has all the details we have okay so here we go with this one so we require the service account key file first of all so let's check where it is so if you are logged in let's go to the firebase console So we have a firebase console currently so how to get this key just switch to your project this is my project it should be a web project settings service account file here you can generate the new private key for that one and just copy and paste that file so here we have if you just scroll down here there is an option that is generate new private key just click on it it will give you the service account file okay i have all i have already have the file so i'm going to copy and paste this one this is the file okay so i'm going to use that one firebase firestore okay just paste it over there and give the path to that directory so this is you have to remove just give the path of that one this is
just add the path like this okay initialize the firebase admin sdk this is done your project database url we have to add so let's go and just check the project database otherwise it will get it from the settings also just copy the url and paste it over there it's firebase.io.com okay this is done let's word wrap this okay this is done now we have to go with create a record with the collection you have to mention the collection which collection you want to make it doc reference and it will give you returning with the id and the data then re read a record so we are going to read from the collection admin.firestore.collection collection name and the doc you have to pass the id and it will give the give, give you the result of that reference id okay next updating a record so whatever collection you want to update you need to pass the id of that one and it will update okay then delete a record whatever collection you want to delete you need to pass the id and it will delete that record doc reference dot delete will help you to delete that record firebase controller okay so let's try to make the demo first then we will do that one so just run the command npm run start okay we will get all the routes okay and let's see first we have the post request so we have to pass the collection name also okay so let's open the postman okay updated let's open it okay collection name we will make it like uh, Rajnikant collection name okay make a post request and body raw JSON okay so here we have the data name John Doe age 30 so let's add this and try to send the request internal server error it will come in permission denied cloud cloud firebase api has not been used in the project testing before it is disabled enable it by visiting this one so let's open that link what is happening search account so currently this is my account So we have to enable this API. I think now it's enabled. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now we have to just try try it again. What will happen? something it says project console the api project you have to enable it this api wait a few minutes to propagate this entry okay let's wait for a few minutes let's try it again let's see is it done enable firestore services let me restart it again okay let's try to send it again but it says error not found just give me one minute firebase nestious error not found firebase create collection name post it says error 5 not found why it's a post request firebase create firebase create collection post route the error is not 
properly added we need to check let's have a look create collection firebase create record maybe you have the database you let's check the firebase we have a fire store database I think we haven't created the database so let's create that one which is missing so anything whatever it is just make it in a test mode okay I think now it's coming let's try to end hit the enter I think now it will come okay ID name and the age so here you can see let me refresh it we will get the collection over there okay Rajnikant collection the IDs age and the name is coming okay moving to the next one this is the create operation which is done another one operation that we go with the collection is an read collection okay so we just make it read and the id we have to pass so make it like read and pass the collection and with id so this is our id right let's pass it over there and make a get request and let's see what will happen will get the record okay this is a get request now we have to make a put request and make it uh, update I suppose update update and uh, collection I need to update the John Doe to John this one record updated let's see it's John to now okay next we have want to delete this record so make a delete request and let's send it I think it should be delete okay just send it deleted and there would be no data over there only the collection is there right so let's dive into the controller part which is not yet done so controller so here you can see that we have a body controller delete get param post from the nest.js common then the firebase service okay we ha here we are defining the controller with firebase and uh, okay so here we are post request with the create collection name and this dot service firebase create a record will go over there okay and pass the collection and the body okay same thing with the read we have to pass the id and read a record after that updating collection and with the id we require the param collection param id and the body okay so this will return updating a record and this is the last one delete collection id and this is deleting a record will help you to deleting that record from your firebase store okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day